Um, today I'm going to show you how I made the top up for my daughter's magic themed um, birthday cake. So what it is, it's, you know, a hat, um, a magician's hat with the bunny rabbit coming out of the top. Um, so uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, this is, um, yeah, it's lasted pretty well. I just took it off at the end of the party. So um, maybe I can convince my mother kids to have another party this theme and it's already there, ready to go. Enjoy. Okay, so I've got my tins here. I'm gonna do a six inch and eight inch and then on the top, it's gonna be the magician's hat with the bunny coming out. So this is what I'm gonna use. What I'm just gonna do now is I'm just gonna spray it with some spray and put my baking paper around. Next up, I've got my black fondant and Tylo powder. I'm just going to mix some in with my black fondant and then I'm going to roll it out thickly. <laughs> hey, I'm going to now just cut out a strip and then I'm just going to let it sit here just to harden up because it's very, really quite soft, this fondant. So I'm going to let it harden up a bit before I put it around my cake tin. So now I'm just going to wrap this around the cake. Um, I'll get some water and just attach it and then I'm going to leave it to sit there overnight. Okay, so I've um, just attached it. I'm not too worried about it being a bit uneven. You can see sort of up here, but I'm just sort of going to trim it lightly, just using a, there is going to be a, um, you know, the top of the hat is going to go across the top, uh, like a, a big circle is going to go around this. So I'm not too worried. So I'm just going to basically let that um, dry. That'll take at least overnight. And um, then I'll show you what it looks like. black circle drying it's dried a fair bit but it, it still is a bit bendy so uh, it's time now to do the bunny so I've got my white fondant I've added it with Tylo and I just want to work out how big the bunny is going to be don't want it to be too big but I want it to be big enough So I'm just going to play around with the size. Once I'm happy with it, I do think I want it a bit bigger than that. Once I'm happy with it, um, I'm going to stick it in the middle. Most people would probably do is just cover like a, a styrofoam ball. I don't usually do it because I just can't really be bothered. So I have just got a big, heavy bit of fondant, which is going to mean I just, what, what I'm going to do so that when I put this heavy bunny on top of my hat, I don't want it to... Um, to sink so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hole in this black disc and when I put my bunny on top I'm also gonna make a hole in the bottom of the bunny and then I'm actually gonna stick which I will show you when I assemble it I'm going to stick this can be stuck through the top tier and all the way up to the bunny so that the bunny is not going to fall into the um, cake. Is the bunny going to be big? So I'm just going to find some water and then I'm yeah, going to okay. stick it on. What I'm going to do now, turn this over. Um, I've stuck my bunny on. I'm just going to make a hole like that. And now put it all back here and let that just sit there. And I'm just going to sort of smooth it out, honey, go, guys. Um, I'm just going to smooth it and get my bunny face ready. I think I'll leave that there. And I'm just going to work on doing the ears. Uh, adding a bit of pink. This is Americolor Soft Pink. Mix it together with gloves. <laughs> right. I'm going to mix this and then I'm going to roll out a nose. Mm. 
just going to do the little cheeks. Uh, so uh, I'm going to roll out two circles and flatten them. Just make sure they're the same size. I'm going to flatten them and I'm going to stick them on. So now you can see sort of what I've done. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to get a toothpick. I'm going to make little dots in these little cheeks. Um, eventually I'll find some wire and stick that out. Um, and then I'm going to start working on the eyes. So you can see there, nothing too exciting about that. I've just got a little bit of uh, Americala Electric Blue. I would normally use Sky Blue, I just can't find it at the moment. I'm going to use the tiniest bit. It's going to be for the blue. Oh, and that is not the tiniest bit. That's a lot. Just going to rub in some colour and then roll it out. The shape that I'm after is kind of like an arched window. So circle at one end and then like a rectangle. So the blue's going to be at the top, then a smaller one will be of black and um, yeah. So I'm just going to firstly cut out a rectangle, don't do that honey, uh, cut out a rectangle about the size that I want. And then I'm going to use my circle cutter to curve one end of it. Just cut out two smaller black squares, which I'm going to do exactly the same thing too, but it's going to be it's going to be smaller so that you can still see the blue underneath. Just added little tiny white dots to it. Um, still sort of tidying up the shape a little bit and I'm going to now stick these on my bunny. So that is the eyes. Um, now I'm just going to do some black eyebrows and then it will be time to work on the ears. I'm just about to cut out the um, ears. I really don't know um, I just thought I would cut out on cardboard and use something just because I'm not good at, ha at free cutting. So I'm just going to chop out my little drawing and um, then get it out of the, uh, use that to trace out of the wall. So yeah, I'm happy with that now that I've cut that out. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut this out, two of these out, just tracing it like that. Now I've cut this fondant a decent thickness because I'm going to wait for it to harden 
And then what I'm going to do is on the side where I think I want the ear to go, I'm going to make holes, slice in holes so that the ears can just slice and fit right in. Then I'm going to do add some pink and just do a smaller one with pink. Okay, so look at my structure, trying to keep my bunny ears drying straight. It's a bit crooked, but that's cool. That will have to do. Uh, so now I'm just going to make the hands. Okay, so I've got my circles. I'm now going to flatten it out. Okay, so the hands are in place. Last thing, I'm going to get some florist wire and just stick it on for the whiskers.